Oh, hey, Dan with Home Meets Road and one of our Does It Work videos. This one is all about our 12 volt fridge and freezer. But before I get started, here are the timestamps for this video. Okay, let's cover the basics. This is a unique... No, really. Look, the name of the company is unique. Nine cubic square foot fridge freezer combo that runs either on 12 volts or 24 volts, making it ideal for solar applications. Okay, now why did we decide to go with this unit? Initially when we built our trailer, we did not go with any propane whatsoever, meaning we are all electric. So your standard RV fridge that uses either 120 volts or propane wasn't going to work for us. And we really didn't want to go with a full residential fridge because then we would need to run an inverter 24 seven. I didn't really want to put in a second inverter just to run a refrigerator and I did not want to run it off of our primary inverter. Our primary 3000 watt inverter uses 50 watts just to be on. And this refrigerator only uses 55 watts when it's running. So really the math just didn't make sense. And we wanted a fridge and freezer that we could run directly off of our batteries 24 seven. Okay, installation couldn't be simpler. You've got a red wire for either 12 volt or 24 volts and you have a black wire for ground. That's really it. It has a dedicated 15 amp fuse and it has power all the time. That's really all there is to it. Now we did install a bracket up here to make sure the refrigerator stays in place, but I'm going to put that under issues instead of installation. So hold tight. performance this thing is cold i mean really cold one of our biggest issues is just trying to make sure certain things don't freeze for example if we put our cold brew coffee all the way to the back it's frozen in the morning so yeah it really got to figure out where to put stuff in the right place um on the power side so we have it running at 12 volts and when it's on it usually uses around 55 watts give or take depending on what the weather's like and etc and realistically it's on for about 10 to 20 minutes and then turns off for 10 and 20 and then back on again i think about the best i can tell you is over the last 15 months on the road it uses roughly about two amps per hour and that's extremely low for a nine cubic foot fridge and freezer combo. All right, issues. There are two issues right off the bat. Number one, unfortunately, these refrigerators are not really built for RVing. Now, again, we've had this thing running 24 seven for the past 15 months and knock on wood, it's been great. The only issue is you do need to figure out how to keep it in place. Now we installed a bracket on the top and I'm using the factory holes for if you decide to flip the door the other way. So I used that to a bracket to our kitchen uh, cabinets and that is holding it in place really well. It has rubber stops on the bottom and they don't seem to move. 
The other issue is we need a child locks to keep it closed again because this is really not a rv fridge i wish that unique maybe could think about making refrigerators specifically for rvs hint hint the other issue we're having is this thing gets cold quick and you do have to defrost it yourself so if you look where the sensor is it just likes to get frozen in all the time. I would say that the freezer we have defrosted twice in 15 months on the road and the fridge I'd say about five times or so so every three months and that is being on the lazy side I would probably do it every other month to be honest. It's just a pain in the butt to take everything out so do it before our grocery shop. So does it work? Absolutely. Um, why anybody would do anything other than one of these unique fridges for an RV is beyond me. Just to be able to run this thing off of two amps per hour off of your batteries is amazing. And again, it has performed really well in the last 15 months on the road. Lessons learned, I really can't come up with anything other than we use a heat gun to um, defrost this thing and just put it on low setting and be very careful. And uh, I am not taking responsibility for anybody that is going to destroy the refrigerator doing it this way. Um, so be very careful, mind where the sensor is. The other thing is that initially we used these locks and it's just not holding up to be on the road. These are the ones I definitely would recommend to go with and we just have it hanging on regular days. You can take it off if you don't like the look, but really that is the only lesson learned on here. I don't know what else to say. It, the refrigerator just works really well. Man, this video is making me hungry. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so it will be recommended to others. And leave a comment below if you have any questions about this fridge. I'll do my best to answer it. If you've been wondering what this is, or you know that it is a Berkey water filter, but you want to know our opinion of it, also leave a comment below and we will try to shoot a video about it. To be honest, I don't really know how I feel about it. I It's a love-hate relationship. Yeah. Anyway, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing. We are a family of three that rebuilt their own RV and hit the open road. We share the good, the bad, and the ugly of building your own RV and living the nomadic life. So thanks for watching and happy travels. Oh, hey, you're still here. By the way, I got this refrigerator off of Costco.com. So if you are considering on getting one of these unique 12 volt fridges, check there first. A, I got free shipping and B, it's Costco. They will take it back if it breaks, right? I think. Ah. <laughs>